Uh, I'm extremely pleased to be here with you at the Nigeria-Canada Investment Summit 2019. I was here at the 2018 summit, and I mentioned then that the summits are an important process, not just events, in deepening the socio-economic ties between Nigeria and Canada. There's no question that both our governments and business communities realize that there is enormous potential in our relationship. And indeed, since 2018, aside from summits in both countries, the sheer number of high-level contacts and visits of uh, so many uh, high-level officials really endorse the fact that this is a very important relationship. In 2018, the Governor General and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Canada, Her Excellency Julie Payette, visited. There was also an earlier working visit of the Honorable Marie-Claude Bibo, Canada's, Canada's Minister for Inter International Development and La Francophonie. And I'm told she's now the Minister for Agriculture and Agri-Food. Then thereafter, Canada's Minister in charge of immigration, the Honorable Ahmed Hussein, and as you've heard, two Royal Canadian Navy ships birthed in Lagos for very important uh, joint training in security in the Gulf of Guinea. And as you've also heard, this was the first in 108 years of the existence of the Royal Canadian Navy. Our trade and commerce relationship have also been long-standing and Nigeria has remained a major trading partner to Canada and Africa. You've also heard that bilateral trade has been in the order of $984 million. And as you've heard, when that is put in context, we really have a long way, we really have a long way to go. Canada's imports include mineral fuels and oils, cocoa, rubber, lead, and processed foods. And Canada's exports include vehicles, equipment, manufacturing equipment, software, and aircrafts. We also have in place a double taxation agreement, which came into force, I believe, sometime in 1999. And we expect that, very, that our Foreign Investment Promotion and Protection Agreement, FIPA, will be concluded and ratified by both countries as early as possible in 2020. We expect that in the first quarter of 2020, we ought to have that agreement in place. But this summit is particularly important. We have much richer private and public sector participation than before. The focus is on mining, power, agriculture, housing, education, and technology. These are sectors that Nigeria has identified as crucial to the success of our economic recovery and growth plan. And we are determined to work collaboratively with investors to create the best possible environment for business for in these sectors. And we are determined not just to ensure that we keep to the plans that we put in place, but that we encourage all of our partners to work with us. In mining, our mining industry growth roadmap lays out the scale of our ambitions in this sector. And it goes beyond extraction and export. We intend to create a broad spectrum of value-added services by fully maximizing the abundant opportunities for mineral resource beneficiation exploiting all of the possibilities in support services and support industries that will be nurtured around core mining activities. We're of course all very excited about the prospects evident in the Spring Fountain and the Bullion Mats collaboration, and we look forward to that coming into fruition. In the power sector, we believe that investment in renewable energy is bound to benefit from our focus, especially on off-grid and mini-grid options for delivering power to a very huge population and commerce. Our energizing education program, which is a private solar power, which is installing private solar power facilities in several of our universities, and our energizing markets program also, which is private solar in markets and economic clusters all around the country, have demonstrated that businesses are prepared 
to pay for regular power supply, and that this is a tremendous area of growth for renewable energy and for business and commerce in that respect. And that also, given the very high radiation all around the country, the solar option makes perfect sense. In agriculture and agribusiness also, there is tremendous prospect. Our government believes that the next few years are crucial for our vision of food security and especially self-sufficiency in the production of several food and cash crops. But the whole agribusiness value chain is open for investment. The share size of our market now and in the immediate future and the export potential point inexorably to the importance of investment in this sector. Housing is also a crucial area of focus for us. With a housing deficit, we are told of about 17 million, the demand is obvious. Our Family Homes Fund is a special public-private sector fund dedicated to our mass low-cost housing scheme. And then solving the off-taker constraints also calls for mortgage finance solutions. There's plenty of room for activity in the housing sector. The next few years promise to be exciting for industry, trade, and commerce in Nigeria, especially with the coming into force of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreements. Nigeria remains the most, the, the most logical destination for reaping maximum benefit from these agreements. Consequently, we've devoted considerable attention to improving the Nigerian business environment and we have, by, by all accounts, recorded notable success. Since 2016, we've risen by an aggregate of 39 places on the World Bank's ease of doing business rankings. Just two weeks ago, the World Bank also named Nigeria as one of the 10 best performing economies in the world. So we are... So we are set for business and we look forward to the continuous engagement with the Canadian government and business community in the coming months and years. Let me commend the Nigeria High Commissioner uh, to Canada, His Excellency Ambassador Adea Shekun, and his team, and Mr. Taiwo Dutola, CEO of the Nigeria Investment Summit, for the incredible hard work that they put into this summit and previous summits and engagements here and in Canada. And we welcome all uh, Canadian uh, businesses, government representatives, and all our friends and partners from Canada to Abuja and to this summit. In particular, we welcome the distinguished delegation from the city of Brampton, and we certainly look forward to meeting with them. I urge all our friends uh, from Canada to be sure to take in all the sights and sounds of Abuja while you are here, and of course, indulge in some of our well-known culinary delights. My recommendation this year, last year was suya, this year is our world-famous jollof rice. I have like you to take part in it. It is, it is now my very special pleasure and privilege to declare open the Nigeria-Canada Investment Summit 2019. Thank you very much.